brilliant TV sport archery. And we hope that you're enjoying the action here with me. Steve Jordan, Fernando Oliveira of Brazil, are my co commentator here. And here Ladies we are and for the men's Please welcome the athletes to the field of play between for the recurve men's bronze medal of match. Italy and Thomas Chiro. Of this is a France. battle of the young guns, the young lions, oh, some would even say. What to, what to look out the first for archer to join us on oh, the field uh, of play. This match is so, so interesting. We've got two Duma very young one, archers, six to nothing but in the my highlight final. is the Frenchman, Thomas Ladies Giro. and gentlemen, uh, on target it's, number it's two, his first year in the representing team, his Italy, first year in the David World Cup circuit, Pasqualucci. and he shot so strong matches. He put 4-0 on Brady Allison, and now he's you're shooting for the bronze against David Pascalucci, who's also an excellent archer. I think we have to And his opponent to here. joining us now on the field of play. Right, 32 in the world at the moment. A rising star as as from the nation of France uh, in May with a shot uh, at a World in Cup medal He's only 20, at though. the tender age of 19. The under 21 European indoor team uh, champion joining us now on the field of play, younger, ladies and 19. gentlemen. On target number As one, Bernardo said, representing France, out some Thomas fantastic Chihou. archers on the way here, and Thomas Shiro, like 320 seconds in the world, but out shooting himself and really the line performing judge well for this, this tournament is Tommy Takeuchi. And Tommy Takeuchi taking charge of his final match here as a judge before retiring from judging on the world archery circuit. A real Servant of Ladies the game, and gentlemen, Tommy for Takeuchi, the bronze medal. Congratulations to him for all of his long service. David to Pasqualucci World shoots over first many years. on target two. And he indicates that David Pasqualucci will shoot first on target number two. A different target for him, the uh, Italian shot on target number one this morning. So maybe slightly different conditions for him to contend with here this afternoon. Looking very serious Eight. and opening up with it. Yeah. Now moving his sight, just getting used to the venue, even though he shot in the morning. Nine. Chiro also looking very calm and confident. Moved his sight a little bit. Ten. Ten for Bascalucci, so just moving that little detail on his boat making all the difference and he got it right eight uh, eight for Shiro scores are level so a nine or a ten would be very good for Pascalucci ten. right now and at ten it is so forcing Thomas Shiro immediately to have to try to achieve a maximum with this final arrow Eight. to keep pace, but it's only an eight for him. All right, set number one is on the target faces, ladies and gentlemen, the battle of the so young lions, the young guns, the up-and-comers. Takes a two-set point to zero lead, and that will really calm him down. Eight, yeah, ten, uh, ten. I think uh, Thomas Shiro is struggling a little bit. He, clearly, his sight was uh, too high, and also his last shot was too quick. Um, I think uh, this was an installation set for him. Um, let's look, uh, let's take a look at what he do, he do afterwards, but a very good Start for David Pasqualucci. He he found the center of the target so quickly, and that's awesome. He's a great archer. I think he shoots usually shoots great qualification rounds. He was third in the Olympics and like fifth in the World Championships in Copenhagen. So Thomas Chiro is up to a big challenge here. When we Pasqualucci qualified in third position. This. Uh, this week behind Valadon and Ellison. So, as you say, Bernardo shooting very, very well, very consistently across the week of qualification uh, and then the elimination round. So, he's 2 0 up, which means that Shiro will have to shoot first. Ten. And he finds a 10 eventually. Moved his side a little bit more. It, it was in the 10, that's awesome, but it's still just out to the left. Down in the centre of the target for Pascalucci, who's got a little bit of rhythm, hasn't he? Maybe that would have broken the camera in the Olympics. Ten. Another 
10 from Shiro showing why it was that he ran Brady Ellison so close in the semi-finals. Eight. Eight for Pascalucci. Oh, this seems so tense in this shot. Not happy with himself for that eight. Nine. And a nine for Shiro. So he will take the second set, doing exactly what he needed to do. To level things up for Pascalucci. Test one for target practice and another 10 for him, 28 right, points. Great response with here on target number one. Right, set Tomashiro 29 points for Thomas Shiro of France on target number one. So the match is level now, two set points. The same sum total is it? Pascalucci was happy with his last shot. Thomas Shiro getting the job done here in set number two. He left the shooting line with a smile on his face. Six arrows fired on both sides of the field. He's got to hold on to his memory of those two shots. He shot two beautiful access and uh, I joke saying that in the Olympics he would break the camera that's because so in the Olympic Games uh, we have a camera so right in the center of the target and that's so cool because you get some pretty nice images you know of the arrows coming to the camera but also the archers break a lot of and that's not nice. in the Copenhagen 2015 world championships in team competition we check up on their route into David Pasqualucci will shoot first on target two when we resume in a minute but the action continues, and Pascalucci it will be to shoot first in this third set. Ten with his last arrow. Four tens in the match so far. Ten. And there's another. Yeah, despite what I think was a long hole, he managed to shoot a ten. It's very good. 20 seconds you get per arrow, which in itself is not a Nine. small amount of time. It's plenty of time to shoot an arrow, isn't it? But if you're battling your nerves, the elements or whatever. Yeah, and that doesn't really leave, leave any room for aborting the shot. Nine. So a 10 and a nine for Pascalucci. Yeah, Shiro so. opening up with a nine. Ten. Uh, ten so level at the moment. Final arrow in this set for the Italian. Ten! To ten. So, Giro will need a ten himself if he doesn't want to fall behind in this match. Ten! And it is a ten. Wow. Did you see that set, so much on the line. Yeah. Yeah. He would have the made it only a 10 on a the not used to this kind of competition, this level world class competition. But still, he the end of For Italian archer, David Pasqualucci. He seems to be very confident. And calm, and that's so nice to see. And uh, what about France the French archer Thomas Chiron? Uh, it was sad to see them having a bit of a hard time qualifying for the three Rio Olympics. Points to three. And now they have so Moving many young archers, now, not only Thomas Chiron, but Pasqualucci other archers who came with them here, on on two. here in Antalya. And it's great to see that they have young archers <laughs> shooting so well. <laughs> So the crowd falls a little quieter. Waiting to see what these two young archers can produce as we get into the business end of this competition. Ten! Ten. For Davi Pascalucci. Ten! Ten to match from Tomashiro. Ten for Pascalucci. Both of them look so confident. Ten! Incredible, really, with this much at stake. Are they really going to tie with 30? Oh. Ten! 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 That's fantastic. Our first perfect set of the day. 
what has Shiro got? Oh. Not nine from him, my goodness oh. me. We could see that he was tense in this last round. His, his hand holding the ball started you know, just moving the fingers and it was a little bit shaky. Uh, but, you know, for shooting a 10, you can't tell any of that here. The shot just got to be perfect. So, uh, oh, very exciting. So five points now for Danny Pascalucci of Italy, three points for Thomas Shiro of France. And we're into a final set. And that means that Pascalucci only needs to draw this set in order to win the match. Six points is the total you need to take the match and to take this bronze medal. So it means that Thomas Shiro must win this set if he's to keep this match alive and take us into a shoot-off, just as we saw in the women's competition just a few moments ago. Yeah, though we shouldn't rule him out. He, he's totally capable of, of coming and shooting at 30. Uh, I wouldn't doubt that. Uh, let's see what comes next. So the young Frenchman, just 19 years old. And eight for him with his first arrow. Just out. Nine. Shiro, just the other side of that line, but uh, a whole point higher. So he has a little advantage here. As Shiro Ten. comes up with his second shot, and that's a bit more like it from him. Remember, he must win this set to force a shoot off Pascalucci with his second Ten. arrow. Another 10 for him, 19 points now. So the pressure really on. The Frenchman. Nine. Nine from him. So eight to win. An eight to win. win. Nine. And it's a nine. Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a winner on target number two. He embraces his coach. And maybe Pascalucci is one of those names now that we'll start to see written in Italian art history along with Gagliazzo and Pagni, Nespoli and all those greats. Pascalucci, he's on his way. He's on his way. He's selling us. He's here to stay. A great performance by him. Uh, he's been shooting strong for years, uh, but today is, a, is definitely going to be a very special Archie. day for him because he started the day without any World Cup medals, and now he's already got the gold from the, the quality of the shooting, and the ladies and gentlemen. Individual. David Pasqualucci shooting 28, for 28, 29, 30, uh, and no, 28. Young Archer shooting so well. Uh, and ladies and gentlemen, strong. an announcement oh, regarding uh, Tommy match. Pacchiucci, uh, I think our judge on the field of play. Really good this is his last today. event as an official uh, World absolutely. Archery I mean, judge. Let's you know, give a big round of applause for Tommy Pacchiucci. Gold in the men's team. And now a bronze medal to...